As we age, we go through the three D's of aging. The first D is the deterioration of the skin, and by that we mean the increasing number of broken blood vessels, the increased browns that occur in the face, the increase in the skin pores, the poor tone, the poor texture, and finally the fine lines that develop along the face. And many of these fine lines are related to the aging effect as well as the continual muscle movement which creates creases in our skin. The second D is the deflation of the skin. And just as a balloon deflates with time and loses the air, the face does exactly the same thing. It loses the collagen and it loses the elastin in the tissue. And as it loses that volume, eventually the skin starts to shrivel up and at the same time it also descends. And one of the treatments that we have for treatment of the deflation is to put back volume into the face. Obviously we can't inject air because that's not going to last, but what we do inject is a tissue filler. And there are various tissue fillers on the market. The one we frequently use here is, is the Restylane group of uh, uh, products. Uh, there's Restylane fine lines which we will use for the very fine lines on the face. For instance, the lines between the eyes, the lines that one develops uh, along the cheeks uh, and underneath the eyes. We will then use more robust products such as the Restylane, which we'll use for filling up the creases and the nasal labial lines and also in the marionette lines. And then also we have Perling, which is a more robust product that we will also use for augmentation of the face in the cheek areas as well as in the temple regions. Um, these tissue products frequently last anywhere between 6 to 12 months. Um, they are very effective for management of restoring volume into the skin. Most patients are very happy with the results. The, the nice thing about these products is that they are completely natural. They contain hyaluronic acid, which is a natural component of our own skin. There's no bacterial or viral particles that are present. There is no, uh, there's no degree of foreign protein. So therefore, we can inject these products into the skin without any great concern or any great worries. And reactions to these products are relatively rare. So this is a group of products that we have um, in the Canada Canadian market for restoring volume back into the temples, the cheeks, between the eyes, the lips, the corners of the mouth, the chin. These products can be used virtually anywhere and with great degree of safety. And in fact, one of the great advances that we have been <coughs> instituting recently has been the use of cannulas to inject these products. So rather than using needles per se, we use a very fine cannula which basically goes through the tissue and it instills the, 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 the product into the tissue with a much less degree of discomfort and much less degree of bruising.